Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn something new every day. So today we are going to learn attributes of DIR function. Basically how this help is, it helps you to find out whether a particular folder exists or does not exist. Right? Let's move on. If you look at now my VBA editor, you can open yours by pressing Alt and F11, right? So I have already given a name in a module. So if you don't have a module in your file, you can click on insert and add a module. So I've already given a name, check if folder exists. And we will have to define few variables, like I'll define the path name first, which we should check and the folder name, right? So both of these things will be string. Then my path name here for this demo is C drive and test. But yeah, you can change this as per your requirement wherever your file or folder you want to check, right? After that, we will uh, use the dir function and I'll before moving on I'll show you the properties of dir function right so you can write like folder name is equal to dir or you can also see where this is based like its components like vba dot file systems so file system and then dot dir right so if you just write dir that is also okay but i just showed you this to show you where this particular component stays right so this basically is dir and then as you can see i'll just zoom in as you can see i have already defined the names and then i have given the path name as c drive dot test and folder name i am giving now so folder name is again uh, my path name which I have assigned, right? And after that you can see uh, it is prompting for some attributes, right? Attributes as VB file attribute is equal to VB normal and so on, right? So I'll quickly show you what attributes are. If you are looking at my screen, there are different attributes which are supported with DIR function. First one is VB normal, or you can also write zero, right? So this will uh, be, you know, specify files with no attributes. But if you want to give some attributes, like if you want to see only read-only files or only hidden files, so these are all which you can use. Like for folders or files, you can use VB directory because we are going to check it in a particular directory, right? So that's why you can use this, right? Again, I'll move back to my uh, VB editor and path because I want to check path and then I'll write VB directory, right? So this way the folder name will get stored in this variable, which is folder name. Now I want to check if folder name is blank or not, right? So if folder name is not blank, which can also be defined as VB null string, right then i want to give a message box as folder exist else if folder name is blank right so then i'll write a message box folder does not exist right so this will first check whether folder exists or not after this we will see how we can add a folder if this does not exist here so let me first run this code for you but before that i'll show you my c drive and uh, whether i have a folder or not so as you can see i already have a test folder in c drive and i have a file one in test folder right so I'm going to check this only whether I have test folder or not. Okay, I'll run this code by pressing F5. 
sorry I missed to write and if okay I'll run this now and as you can see I got the message box saying folder exist right press ok uh, now let's say I check some other folder just to make sure the code is working I have made, made this as test 2 so this will check whether test 2 folder is available in C drive or not okay I'll run the code by pressing F5 and as you can see the message box it says folder does not exist right so the code is working perfectly fine now we'll come to the next part of this uh, macro where if the folder does not exist what we want to do right so if it does not exist what I wanted to do is I will uh, first save the name uh, like uh, I'll define one more variable like exist or not right so here I'll write message box folder does not exist would you like to create new folder okay so this way I've defined this and I'll give the name as VB yes no because I want user to select whether they want to you know give a name uh, or whether they want to create a folder or not right so that's why VB yes no and after that this is the title you can escape but I'll just write message box here also okay so this way now this will prompt me whether uh, you know I want to create a new box or a new folder or not right so what if this exist if exist is equal to VB yes right that means if when this message box will come right so I have given this message box reply name as exist so when the message box will be uh, yes selected yes right what should happen so then I want to create a folder so the code VBA code for this is MKDIR right so this way MKDIR and then you have to give the path name because that is where your folder name is right now okay and what is the next part that we will do is if exist is equal to VB no okay that means if user clicks on no from this yes no box then what should happen then it should simply exit the sub nothing else required here okay so now I'll show you how this is creating a text to folder when I click on yes in the message box that comes up I'll press F5 to run this Sorry, I have to press space. Right, so as you can see now I have a message box which says folder does not exist. Would you like to create folder? When I click yes on it, and if I show you that C drive, you can now see a test to folder is available here. Right, so this way you can check if the folder exists or not and then create a new one if it doesn't exist or if you have some other condition which you want to you know work on based on folder exist or not so you can enter those here and work accordingly that's it for today's video I hope you liked it and uh, this is going to be useful for you please let me know in comments how you liked it and uh, subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and family member so they can also learn this and support me. Thank you very much. Have a great day.